theatre in the early 1900s. Here is a selection of delightfully posed photographs, shot in style and produced in sepia. They demonstrate the important role that local dramatic productions played in the social life of Tenterfield. There is a revealing comment about performance in an article from the opening of the 1870s edition, which now houses the museum. The article says that the grand new hall contains a stage with a neat proscenium and a powerful piano for entertainment. With the construction of the current main hall, just after Federation, theatrical productions blossomed in the larger space. There were all sorts of offerings, including variety shows, dramatic plays and musicals. You can sense the pride in costuming, no doubt produced with love by candlelight, back on the farm. Themes of plays ranged across a variety of topics, including love stories such as Country Girl, exotic plays such as Geisha Girl, and historical adventures such as The Wreck of the Argosy. Musicals were usually reworkings of former famous shows, such as Flora Dora, which was a huge hit in London in 1899, and then stormed across the world, including a major run on Broadway. Much of its success was attributed to the leading singers, described at the time as a sextet of tall, gorgeous damsels, clad in pink walking costumes, black picture hats, and carrying frilly parasols, who swished onto the stage and captivated New York for no other reason that they were utterly stunning. Apparently most of them married New York millionaires. So Tenterfield, a little town on the far side of the planet, was able to bring a taste of the glittering world to its very own stage at the School of Arts.